Hey YouTube, how you doing? Katie Hill Farmer coming back with another how uh, this is gonna be in the hunting series on the farm. Uh occasionally we do a video. Uh this year I decided to jump off the deep end and as you can see we decided to get a crossbow. Uh is we are getting a little bit of rain right now outside. Uh as you can see cows are right there. They should be dropping any time. But uh, before we get into the crossbow video, guys, check out the Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Katie Hill Farmer. Also, if you like what you see, this is what we've got to do on the channel. We welcome you to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, watch the content, etc. Uh, I do try to answer every comment that I get. Uh, sometimes I get a little bit behind, but I'll get to you. But uh, anyhow, let's get into it. Today, we're going to be talking about crossbows. Uh, as you can tell, I still have my bow, and that is the Carbon Knight by Bowtech. Still like that bow. Uh, a lot of kinetic energy in that bow. It's not the fastest, but it has a lot of kinetic energy. Okay, let's go. So I decided to go with the Wicked Ridge M370, as you can see here. Uh, I think I got a smudge on the camera. There we go. And right now, which you guys will see this uh, log too. It is on the bog death grip. Uh, this kind of just to show you. But this comes as you see this. The quiver is actually hanging right there. It does come with three arrows. I ordered three extra ones with Luminox uh, to hunt with, along with Rage Broadheads, which I will show you towards the end of the video. Uh, for you, I've never owned a crossbow in my life. Uh, this one came out of the box the only thing you had to put on it was this which uh you have to put this i know it's hard to see but there's an allen screw right there that you got to put in and you have to put uh these nuts on right here for your uh quiver and to uh out no they weren't allen but two bolts in to hold your uh quiver quick release on um again I want to say this bow with the aluminum arrow shoots like 370 foot per second. Uh, the scope comes with it also. It does have nice caps, flip up caps, or you can take them off, whatever you prefer. Uh, as you can tell, it still has the uh, cleaner on it and my tripod, I don't have it real tight. So let's go ahead and put that back down. Uh, Okay, this does have the AccuDraw, which <laughs> I love. Very, very handy. Uh, like I said, I've done a lot of re uh, research on YouTube and other places on crossbows. And as for an entry-level crossbow, a lot of people, uh, you know, gave this one. It was always in most people's top five. Uh, this is made by Ten Point, a very well reputable builder. But like I said, the AccuDraw, your handle is down here on the AccuDraw and you pretty much just put it in there and you can pull your bowstring back. So uh, I'll kind of go over this. I wasn't, don't have a tripod set up, so it may be a little shaky, but uh, anyhow, disengage it, pull this out, put it on your bow like that. It's gonna give you an even cock every time then you just push engage, put your handle in, and tighten it up. And always make sure, and I, I did not know this, because like I said, I'm new to crossbows, make sure you have it in the fire position when caulking, and it will automatically put it in safety. Uh, I did not know that, because like I said, uh, I actually had to go on YouTube and watch a video, so. But since that's engaged, I can't move it, so I gotta unengage it, take this back off, put it right back there. And if you want it to be real secure, you take your handle out, give it two little clicks. It's secure, ain't gonna rattle. Put your handle back in, like so. Put it back in there, done. So if you would have clocked this, clocked this back, it would have went to safety like that. You'd have seen it click. This one also has anti-dry fire, which is right here. When you put your bolt in, it pushes that. 
you, as you can see it'll push it up it'll give you the ability to fire the bow on the safety aspects of this bow i like the hand guard right here it's nice and wide you can't like i said it's hard it would be hard to get your hands up in the strings it also does come with air lube to put on here it just makes it real slick uh other than that i think i already said this but i'll say it again it comes with three arrows this uh bow comes pre-sighted in you do have to do some final uh adjustments uh mine was hitting off to the left i had to bring it over to the right about four inches and down about four inches and it was dead on within six shots this, this crossbow was sighted in um again um, not going to go into the warranty aspect, but uh, 10 point boat or crossbows They they say are the you know one of the best in the business. I Looked at the Ravens crossbow, you know I didn't know if I want if I was going to like the crossbow hunting or not and I, I honestly can't tell you Yes or no yet because I'm not had it up in a tree stand, but uh, What I see so far I, I, I do like it. I did go make go through Make sure everything was tightened up on my rail. Um, as you can see with this rail, it goes and gets smaller. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, and if you are looking at the Raven crossbow, I mean, you got to imagine the Raven crossbow, if you break it down, that scope is 400 and some dollars. So, you know, really, but the price point on this one, I think I had like $699 in it on uh, Bass Pro's website. And like I said, that is with the AccuDraw. So I think the AccuDraw, as I was saying, I think the AccuDraw on uh, 10 Points website is right around $799. So, uh, but like I said, guys, <clears throat> I've not had it up in the tree stand. So I don't know how awkward it's going to be. I've heard people say it is, and I heard people say it ain't. So, uh, but uh, anyhow, from what I've shot, I've shot it uh, a bunch of times. I will say, uh, I have this blackout target. You better shoot multiple places on your target because it will knock an arrow or break your bolts. Excuse me, bolts. Uh, here is the ten point uh, quiver. As you can see, I got a Luminox on those, and I shoot the Rage. Big fan of the Rage. Uh, here are the bolts that come with it, and these are Easton arrows. They are a 400 grain arrow, so these are the Pro Elites. You just go on their website, and I'll be honest with you, that was very helpful. <laughs> I mean, like I said, never shot one. The only thing, uh, crossbow, only thing I have done to it so far is I wax the strings up, uh, which I do that on everything. But uh, as you can see, this is kind of just my little hunting shelf where I keep my cameras, propane bottles, uh, the heaters are down there, clothing, decoys, turkey vest, you know, a little bit of everything. Uh, this is what I have one of those. That's why I charge my. Uh, that's why I charge my feeder batteries with. So. But uh, yeah, uh, and there is the Bowtech Carbon Knight. It is an older bow. It is set up nice. Uh, I've shot a good many deer with it. I do shoot carbon arrows with it. But uh, also, the, uh, these do, the, the Wicked Ridge also comes, they are 100 grain field tips. Uh, I measure those on my scale, so they are 100 grain. But uh, it's, a, it's, they, Per, the Persia Wicked Ridge is one of the lightest bows. And like I said, I'm going to actually put you guys down here and uh, we'll tilt you up a little bit. I'll take it out of the vise. And when I say the hand grip is nice, that's what I mean. There is no way that you can get your hand in the string when you're shooting this bow. And it is a very, very light bow. Uh, we can actually, I'll go take and put it on the scale right now. Uh, don't mind some stuff that's going around you, but uh, we'll put it on the scale.
clean it up against the refrigerator here. Oops, it's falling. Oh well. We'll set this. It's already set to pounds. Now I'm gonna have to probably grab a hold of it to steady it. I'll try not to. About eight pounds. So that's what you're looking at, guys. About eight pounds on the rate <coughs> on this wicked ridge m370 crossbow like I said uh there'll be uh, another kind of review of it once i get it out into the woods and get it you know shoot it out of a tree stand so but uh there you have it and that's how i usually keep it uh when i get my concrete in guys I have a little bit better setup, but like I said, this is, you can see I got tree stand steps under there, feeders, feeders. Uh, I do have all my feeders running. Ain't got, ain't got no pictures worth sharing really. But uh, anyhow, guys, thank you. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Like I said, I'm not the best at the crossbow world, but I'll try to answer them as best to my knowledge. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. See ya.